Look at them stems. Today's exercises are all about the legs, all about the lunges. I've got three lunges for you and several different ways you can do them. Lunge number one is a back lunge. So I, I'm gonna do it this way so I don't kick those things. I prefer the back lunge over the forward lunge only because when you step back, your body will naturally come into alignment as far as like where your knees should be. So a forward lunge, you're kind of like reaching and you might come out too far. Back lunge is what it is. Brace the core, tuck the tailbone. These are rules for everything. Take one leg back, drop the knees and up. One, two, three, Four, you're pressing off the front heel. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and come back up. Or, to make it a little bit more difficult for yourself, so that was like phase one. Phase two is to come back, drop it down, and come back up to the top. This adds some core work, more core work. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Phase three would be adding a weight. You could always hold a weight up here while you're doing your lunges to make it more difficult. Lunge number two, side lunge. Also a couple different variations here. So stepping off to the side so you have plenty of room and bring one leg out. Your feet are gonna face forward and you're gonna dip into one of your knees. Two, three, keep the chest lifted. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. The second way you can do that, same as before, coming back up to center every time. One, two, three, four. Use that core to bring the leg up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then same rules apply. You can hold on to a weight if you want to. I don't want to. It's whatever up to you, whatever feels good to you. Don't forget to hydrate. Third lunge is one that I see misused, undone, kind of very weird looking in the gym all the time. So I'm gonna tell you how to do it because it's great for the outside of the glute and the inside of the thigh at the same time. I mean, you couldn't really ask for more. It's a curtsy lunge. You stand on your right leg and I'm gonna bring my left leg behind my body, cross it behind and then dip into both knees. But when you look down at the right knee, you want that knee over your ankle or even if it's a little bit in front, tracking over the center toes and back up. Looks good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That is the hardest one. It, I mean, for me at least, it's my hardest one. Okay, other side. So now I'm gonna stand on my left leg, right leg comes behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. The most important thing that you can do when doing any exercise at all is make sure that your core 
is engaged. You want to pretend that that belly button and your spine are best friends and all they want is to be together. Pull your belly button, it's not sucking it in, it's a little bit different. Pull the belly button toward the spine and then maybe it travels up a little bit toward the ribs. This helps to activate the transverse abdominals which is where you're going to get all of your strength and all of your power from. All right, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and let me know in the comments if you try any of these moves.